Hey guys, Real 111T, coming to you from camp. Uh, it's the, I believe it's the 1st of July. Um, so uh, what I'm looking at today are these two six cup percolators. Uh, I have a GSI percolator and then the Chinook Timberline stainless steel six cup coffee percolator in stainless steel. Um, this is as they come. Uh, we're going to take a look at them and do a comparison real quick here. So stick out of the me. box here, um, we have the GSI and the Chinook one actually comes with this fancy little bag. But when we pull them out, we've got a very similar looking unit here. Okay, see if I can get you some... Uh, side by side, by side you can see they are very very similar uh, they're just about exactly the same size um, there's a couple of the the differences to point out here are um, the Chinook has a wood handle which is not particularly well finished the pieces are not exactly the same size this is one of the chief complaints that some of the people online were were noting about it it seems a relatively minor complaint to me Whereas the GSI has a silicone uh, or black rubber handle here. Uh, also the GSI, if you notice, let me see. I'm gonna focus on that. We have the GSI logo for whatever that's worth. Uh, there on the uh, little plastic dome. Both the domes are plastic. And uh, I've done several reviews on the larger GSI's. I have a 9 and 12 that I've been using for years. And, um, Sorry hang about on one that, second. Guys. Uh, I'm kind of up here with the kids. Um, so basically, um, as I was saying, I, I've got several videos um, about the GSI ones. I've never used this particular one. Uh, it was a, one of the deals where I sort of bought this and then I noticed this one online and I noticed that it was a lot cheaper. That's the comparison is this one was about $37 and this one was about $27. So the question is, <laughs> oh God, the question is, uh, is this one really worth $10 more? And having them both in hand, unless this handle is really important to you, I really am not seeing it. They're basically identical. I bet they came from the same factory. Let's show you here on the bottom where it says, 18.8 stainless china on this one and then 18.8 stainless china so you make the decision whether you think these are made in the same factory so um what's up fia um yeah you can all right i'll get you toilet paper so opening them up they both have stainless steel guts. The GSI one comes with instructions. And this one does not, um, but they're basically identical. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the, um, sorry. All right, so um, I'm gonna use the uh, Chinook one and I'm gonna set the GSI one aside. Um, pretty much the complaints online um, had to do with uh, the handle not looking very nice compared to some older ones and then some leaking around the, uh, the spout but this looks pretty this looks pretty solid here um, I don't know if that's gonna focus there the well there looks pretty good um, I suppose as with anything you could get you could get the occasional uh, bad one but I'm gonna um, set this up here on my Frangia 25 and uh, I'm gonna make some coffee because I need it. Okay, so got this set up here. I've got four cups of water in the perk over here. And then one of the other complaints that I saw um, was about grounds going into the coffee. So one of the things that I always do with any of my perks is I use uh, percolator filters. This one happens to be uh, this brand. There's another brand, which I think I have some here, actually. Let me see. Yep. 
gourmet. Um, the gourmet ones tend to be more expensive. Um, I don't think their shape is is uh, really any better. Um, there's more paper involved in in these. Uh, what is this? I can't even read it. Well, whatever that is, Melinda, Mal Malta, something. So then, basically, there's uh, they both work kind of similarly, in that you put your coffee in and then you fold over. the four other uh, spots you put this on and then definitely still put this piece on uh, because what the function of this piece is actually when the water spills over it actually spreads out and then drips through each it drips through all the holes evenly okay so that you're actually getting drippage from not just in the middle so then that goes in there this goes in here and then this is gonna go on here. I'll get that lit up and then we'll get some video of that. Yeah. And we're using the High Dragon steamer rack as a pot support. Um, another thing, another cool little trick or tip is this coffee measure is actually a, um, a formula scoop. So if you know anyone who has kids, um, they probably will get one of those a week in their formula that they're buying at some point. And uh, you can say, hey, uh, you have any formula scoops? Because I want to use it for my coffee. Now we've just started perking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over and turn the heat down to a simmer. And we're gonna leave it for five or 10 minutes. It's really coming along I can smell it so um, what well, the reason I picked this up um, basically um, if you watch my other videos I've got the 12 cup version for parties and large groups I've even got a 20 cup version for really big groups then I've got the 9 cup version for car camping um, which is kind of what I'm doing now and then um, I've got this one which I'm gonna pack in my car kit so what I did to kind of protect it is uh, I picked up um, one of those Walmart 50 cal ammo cans and I'm gonna pack this in there I already checked it fits right down in um, and the lid closes without coming in contact with it and that'll protect the handle the spout and the and the dome on top from getting broken or bent up and then uh, I'll have everything I need including some filters and some uh, some coffee creamer and sugar in there um, in addition to uh, the, the pot so that uh, with just the addition of a stove, I can uh, whip up some coffee if I'm ever stranded on the side of the road or I decide to go on an impromptu camping trip that I'll have that with me. I've also got one of these Transia Duosol kits equipped exactly as you see it here in my car. <coughs> Excuse me. So I could do this basically, albeit I might have to do it with alcohol because I don't typically carry the Isopro in the car with me. But, uh, I do have a gas line de-icer squirreled away. So the nice thing about using the butane is that you can precisely turn it up and down very easily. Um, not that you can't use the simmering, but uh, yep, that just adds to the little toolbox of uh, cooking equipment. So you want to be in the video, huh? Are you happy about having to wait for your breakfast till my coffee's done? No, you're not? What do you want for breakfast? Oatmeal. You want oatmeal for breakfast? Yes, do. You want oatmeal too? Yes. All right, you jokers. Oatmeal it is. Uh, I think I have apple cinnamon. Is that okay? 
Fine. Say hi. Both you guys look up here. Hi. Is it is it really bright? Are you looking towards the sun? Oh. Uh. Wow. So here's kind of an overall our campsite. Our little cooking area here. The fire pit we used last night. And then all the way down here, there's another couple campsites down there on the property. But we kind of like this end. All right. All right, our timer just went off. So I'm going to turn that off here. Got my GSI, I think it's called Infinity. I'm not sure. Another complaint people had was the coffee coming out, not coming out of the spout, but I see this here. Yeah, you kind of have to hold that there. I don't know, maybe they were just pouring it too fast. It says four cups, but I don't know what four cups. Well, I, I filled it to four cups. I guess I could have filled it to six cups, but I guess I do have a little left in there. But once again, <laughs> I filled it to the four cup line, which is exactly the same on both of them. Um, as you see, this, um, no. I don't know if I'm gonna get this out. Ow! Don't touch the hot percolator. Basically, that's not four, that's not a quart, that cup, in case you were wondering. Um, so they must be using some other, you know, kind of uh, smaller cup measurement, which I guess some of these percolator companies do. Um, so, but I'm gonna enjoy this. Thanks for watching. The other great thing about uh, using the paper filters is you end up with this sort of uh, a plug, a paper plug of coffee ground, so the cleanup is pretty easy. So I just dump that in the garbage, and as you see, I don't know if it'll focus, but there's really not a whole lot of grounds in there whatsoever. So obviously sometimes it doesn't work quite that well, but uh, basically all you really need to do is rinse this all out and it's ready to put away. So oatmeal, huh? Thought they were gonna make me make something hard. So here for Mark Rogers, here's an old school measuring cup. Ta-da! That I happen to have with me. Turn that heat up. We'll make some oatmeal. All right. So looks like we're ready to put in the instant oatmeal. Ack. Per request, raisin, raisin and spice. So, get my spoon. All right. Breakfast is served. Stir my creamer and sugar into my coffee. All right. From camp. Thanks for watching. How's the oatmeal? Good. Good? Yeah. We got to find Flint's shirt. Because I don't think he has another shirt. Oh. He's got a lot of shirts. How's the oatmeal, though? It's a raisin, raisin and spice. I love it. Oh yeah. That is some perk coffee. It's not bad. So if I had to choose between um, the Chinook and the uh, the GSI, I don't know. It would be close. Um, I, you know, and Chinook has all the different models that the GSI one has as well. Um, However, the price isn't as, there isn't such a disparity in price in some of the other models. So I might be tempted to go with the GSI. 
with the, the larger models. But for that six cup model, it's uh, it's kind of a hard sell for the GSI. It really is. Um, and I haven't even tested that GSI one, but uh, as I say, in, in the hand, the construction seems like it's exactly the same. And I have a lot of experience with the other two, the nine and 12 cup GSIs. So I'm pretty confident that that it would basically perform exactly the same way so um, for what it's worth and this is an excellent little mug tab with you too so this is getting like Lord of the Rings there's a whole bunch of endings but thanks for watching